What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be comparing the Microsoft HoloLens and the Oculus Rift and basically compare the two of them and see what's different about both of them and what maybe they can improve on or make better. Now, Microsoft has just unveiled a holographic headset with a different spin on it compared to all of the other virtual reality headsets such as Google Glass. The headset features a spatula sound which allows you to hear holographs behind you and all of the sensors pick up information around you in a real world setting. And the HoloLens includes a CPU and GPU and also a third processor called the Microsoft uh, holographic processing unit uh, which Microsoft invented. Now also the goggles will track your movements and also transform whatever you see by blasting powerful light at your eyes but thankfully it does not really that intense to the point where it will hurt your eyes. It also tracks where you are and you're able to make mid-air clicks and different gestures with your hands to click on different things on the actual headset itself. Now, moving on to the Oculus Rift, Facebook actually purchased this startup for more than $2 billion in March of 2014. And I think the Oculus Rift is probably one of the most successful headset right now out on the market compared to all of the other headsets that are being created right now. And the Oculus Rift actually uses a 360 degree head tracking, but the downside to it is that it's very, very big it's around your head, and it's not simple to use either. Like, I wish they can make the features of it and the different things, like how to use it and different things like that like make it more simplified but not uh, too hard to use because a lot of first time users if they were to buy this product would have a hard time with using it. Now another downside to the Oculus Rift is it is very very I guess very intense to the point where a lot of people were claiming to have motion sickness because of how it was uh, like the the viewing angle of it, I guess, it was very, very hard, and it actually made your stomach hurt. That's how bad it was. But I'm pretty sure, like, comparing both of them, uh, I think they're very good headsets. It's just a few things that they could improve on on the headsets to make them a little bit more user-friendly. And another thing with the Oculus Rift is it's very cheap compared to like the Google Glass, um, which is, I believe, starts at 1500 and you're actually able to join a uh, different type of club, I forgot what the name of it is, uh, where they will notify you when you're able to buy the actual Google Glass. And it has the same type of uh, gestures where you're able to swipe your hand against the uh, frame of the lens. But overall, I think both of them are very good. If I missed anything in this video, uh, please comment below. If you like this video, like it and subscribe to my channel for new videos every Thursday. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.